Okay, part two. Let's go. This way. We ran. We ran a short distance into the woods and the and hid behind the biggest tree we could find. Hang on. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Hear what? I don't know. I thought I heard something out over there. He I I thought I heard something moving over there. Want to check it out? Well, why not? We got time. It must have been an animal or something. They wouldn't come this close to one of our camps. They have to be crazy. Yeah, well, no, no arguments there. Still, it didn't sound like an animal. It sounded like people. Whoa, Tanuki, Tanuki. You are right. It was just a tanuki. Weird, though. Aren't they supposed to be hibernating this time of year? Once the once the deliverers were gone and the tanuki Enra had returned to her normal form, I told Hiro it was time for he and I to have a little talk in private. Enra Enra obliged. Obli, 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 and obliged, and I went off to scout for a way of circ circumventing the camp. Look, Hiro, I know bringing Enra into this was my idea. I know that, but this is just too much. I mean, it's like half of her wants to help us, and the other half is creating ways for us to get caught. Mickey, I understand your, subs your suspicions about Enra. I wish I could say they are unfounded, but I can't. The, the, tr the truth is, I've had my own doubts about Enra for a long, for a while. I don't want to frighten you, but there's a there's a chance that that she's no longer answering only to me. The way she's acting lately, it's like it's like she's serving two masters simultaneously what you mean what you mean what you mean she's being controlled by another deliverer i don't know mickey you shouldn't even be possible under no under normal circumstances but knowing what i know and seeing what i've seen all i can say for sure is this the only way to be absolutely certain and Ron's decisions aren't working against us is to go it alone to tell her we'll find our way to Otaro without her could we even make it to Otaro on our own I don't think so Mickey the boat leaves tomorrow night there's no time for going back to take the other path even if we parted ways with Enra right now we still end up having to find a way around that camp down there. The fact is if Enra were really working against us, we we have been caught weeks ago. I know it's a big leap of faith, but we need to believe that even if she is feeling some kind of external influence, the balance of her sim sympathy the balance of her sympathies is still in our favor. Oh, Hiro, I wish we were on that boat right now. I wish it so badly. We will be, Mickey. By this time tomorrow, we will be. Enra returned with news of a splinter path, a small trail that led up along the side of a cliff that overlooked the base camp. Provided we could we could move quietly quietly and stay low to the ground, we should be able to climb up and around the camp without anyone being alerted to our presence. Enra led us to the path 
and we began making our way to the top of the cliff. The path was narrow in spots but always unobstructed. We reached its apex within half an hour. As the trail des descended, it also curved away from the camp, promising a quick and easy path to safety. Right around the time we were all ready, all ready to breathe a nice long sigh of sigh, sigh Light, nice long sigh of relief. Sigh of relief. We returned. We turned the corner and Is he, I mean, did I, deliverers can't be killed, Mickey. We were lucky you were even able to knock him out. And he is out, completely. But, but he won't stay like this much longer. We've got to get out of here before the, you know. True love. Emra had written the characters with a piece of coal from the fire. She had written them so big and so dark that they'd be impossible to miss. Evidence, evidence, hero. She's leaving evidence. It doesn't matter, Mickey. They know it was us anyway, but we've got to go. We, we, we've got to go now. We tore off down the trail at the top speed and kept running until we were more than a mile away from the camp. From there, from there we s slowed to a, to a trot. Finally, with Hero and I were, and I very much on the verge of collapse, Enra led us into the woods, far, far from any trail and told us to set up camp at the bottom of a narrow ravine. Ravine? Ravine? We did as we were told under, cer under different circumstances. I have, I have surely found it hard to sleep that night. Knowing as I did that, knowing as I did that our chance at escape was now less than a day away. As it was, exhaustion, re uh, exhaustion reigned supreme. I closed my eyes, and within seconds, it seemed was fast asleep. N the next morning, I I awoke to find a find a foot or more of freshly fallen snow. Hiro was sitting outside, staring into the distance, with a very puzzled look on his face. She's gone, Mickey. Enra's gone. She left in the middle of the night. She said it was time for her to leave us, but that our safety is now all but assured. She said that this ravine will serve as our trail from now on. One that the deliverers are entirely unaware of, and that last night's snow would completely obscure the tracks we made getting here. If we hike along the bottom of this ravine and follow it all the way to its end, how does how does ravine or ravine hold up ravine? Or ravine. 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 A small, narrow, steep sided valley that is larger than a goalie and smaller than a canyon and that is usually worn by running water. Okay, whatever. 
ravine. She left in the middle of the middle of the night. Okay, okay. It, it, if we hike along the bottom bottom of this ravine and follow it all the way to its end, it will empty out into farmland on the outskirts of Otaru. From there, she said, we have no trouble reaching the port in time for our departure. But why would she leave us like this? Was she angry about something? On the contrary, she apologized. She said she wanted, she wanted to stay with us, to see us safely to our final destination. She told me she had other matters to attend to, other duties to, f to perform. Duties to perform? Perform for who? She wouldn't say. The way she's been acting lately, I'm not sure she answers to anyone anymore. It's as if she's following the call of an inner voice, a voice that had no one, a voice that no one no one hears but her. But she made a promise before she left. She promised that the time of that she promised that the time of mysteries was drawing to a close. That it mean that the meaning of her actions and the meaning of a great many other things would soon be would soon be made very plain to us both. You know, why did Enra, Enra write those characters on the cliff wall? Would she do that? I wish I knew. It's as if the whole thing, taking the trail to the base camp, leading us up a path that she, that she surely knew was guarded as if the whole thing were, were carefully planned and executed as one big final act of defiance. As if, as if Anna wanted to further inflame the, inflame the situation. To have us dumb, to have us dumb our noses at Akuzu's man, and by, ex, by, and by extension, at Akuzu himself. But why would she want us to do that? I've been asking myself that question all night, Mickey, and I still don't have a clue. We better get going. We've got a lot of ground to cover if we were if we are going to reach Otaru by night by tonight. So we packed up our things and followed the followed the ravine. And though Anna may well have decided us to, in the past, her final act of guidance was entirely truthful. Truthful. The ravine proved every bit the clear and easy path she said it was. And by late afternoon, we reached civilization.